Hello everyone, what's up these days? Same old routine, stuck at home, kids are frustrated and you're wondering how to engage them. So do I. Why not give them some crafting work instead of the same coloring which they probably finished way back ago? And kids, this is for you. Do you have lot of art and don't have ideas on what to do with them and your mommy probably puts them in garbage? Hmm, don't let that happen. Why don't you try some of these techniques and turn your artwork to a special one? So let's make some paintings to begin with and you can use whatever you made earlier. I am making four different skies and using these four color sheets to make them. You need some scissors, some white acrylic color and you can just cut the paper into whatever sizes you want and I just did some rectangles. Now let's start painting some clouds. Let's outline first using a pencil. I'm using a white pencil here. Probably you can go to a window and look at the clouds outside if there are and observe how they look. They're never in one shape, right? They keep changing. So just go with your imagination. So while creating clouds, never scribble or like, you know, make a drawing kind of a thing. Just dab it with a brush slightly and that should be good. I'm also playing the titles and the description on the video so in case you are not able to hear me or do not have an audio so you can just follow the instructions on the screen. Once you have obtained some clouds and you're happy with it, you can just add some trees or birds or just the sky. I have added some trees with the black sketch. Next, I'm doing a sunny day. I'm using some pictures which I have here, but you can click some from your phone if you have or you just use the same ones as I did. It's just sunny and nothing else so why don't we be imaginative and create something else so I am going to club both these pictures and create a new one so don't be scared to try new things you always have an extra paper don't you I just made roughly few birds as you can see and then I like the third one once you achieve the look you can add some birds like I did here what do you think the birds are chit chatting anyone knows bird language next let's try a tougher one Beautiful sunset. This doesn't have to be same. You can use different colors, maybe some brown or dark or orange or even a purple for the sky. I'm going to tell you a tip. That is, especially when you're doing something like sun or moon where you want the object to be, you know, uh, looking very bright. You always have to add some white and then top coat with the color you want and instantly it's going to look very bright and shiny. And to make it look like water, I'm adding few lines and these line strokes are with same yellow orange and also I'm adding some black in the last hmm 
that's not bad now comes everyone's favorite the night sky who wants to do the stars but shouldn't we do some sky first I'm using different shades of blue like sky blue, indigo and a darker blue. You can even use purple, pink or why not some unicorn colors or do a galaxy sky. Whoa! But let's stick to this for now and do that another time. The moon can be so beautiful. I think that's good and I just need to stop. Hey, who wants to sing Twinkle Twinkle? Now I'm showing you how to display all your art, gather all the artwork, special ones maybe. And if you have some paper clips, get them and you just need some rope or a twisty tie or even a thread and I'm sure you'll find any of these. And next, I'm just using a blue mini yarn which I have here. You just have to clip them like the ones I'm doing here. And if you don't have these, why don't you get some clothespin lying in your house? And if you don't have either, simply tape them. Now I'm going to put this up on the wall using a tape. You can even use bobby pins and hang it. Now if you're thinking I already know about this and have been doing, why don't you try this one then? For this you will need some popsicle sticks. You'll also need hot glue gun for this method. I will be showing you another method without the glue gun. Make some markings on where you want to do the hot glue. Start applying glue where you did your markings. You can see I've created four of these. Alternatively, you can even tape them if you do not have hot glue or if you do not have any help. So just use some tape, mark the same way and I'm using a ruler and some weight so the sticks won't move and you know they are in the same height. And if you don't have these popsicle sticks, you can probably use a cardboard or maybe some old notebook cover. But the cardboard needs to be slightly bigger than the canvas and then you can color the borders. Talking about the colors, you can even color these popsicle sticks if you wish to. You can hang them directly onto the wall individually or why don't we make another frame out of this. I'm going to make like a vertical long frame, like a hanging one. Well, if your parents are too busy or you do not have a hot glue gun handy, then you can just do this tape trick again. You can either do two parallel ones or you can just do all together. They look so put together. Some final touch. Simply twist the rope or the thread and make a tight knot and secure it with the tape as I'm doing. Who says you need photo frames or nails to hang your art? Now you can do it yourself and can create so many more.
and ta-da! I have added some beads in the last but that's totally optional. Isn't this super fun? Go try these and surprise your mommies or daddies. I will come back with some more easy crazy artwork but if you have already tried these, great job kids! Please post a picture of your artwork and I'll come back next week again. Bye! Hi.